The demolition exercise carried out by the Ministerial Committee on City Sanitation was initiated to correct contraventions that have constituted environmental nuisance within the territory. Chairman of the committee, Iharo Atta, said the FCT ministers, both Malam Muhammad Bello and Dr. Ramatu Aliu, are not happy with the continued contraventions in the area and have directed that the cleanup exercise be carried out to prevent further life and safety threatening incidents. Atta said the FCT Commissioner of Police, Sunday Babaji, has reiterated commitment to providing security backup for every operation targeted at tackling illegalities and criminalities within the nation's capital. The chairman expressed this May that residents and traders have continued to violate developmental blueprints, which has led to deaths of innocent people. Also said the illegal structures were built directly under electricity high tension installations, while some were used to block access roads, which makes it difficult for rescue operations in an event of emergency. According to him, Occupiers of the illegal structures had been put on notice for a long time. This one now, in the aftermath of what happened, which we saw, we are in uh, about, uh, uh, I don't know how many number of persons now, but above, above six, some say seven persons have lost their life. We had no options but to actually do what we believe is right in the circumstance. We've given notices before for people to quit the illegal shop. We've asked them to leave. We've cleared all the areas there and begged them to leave. Even the particular one that exploded, we have removed them. But uh, like I said before, during COVID, they came back. So what we did today was to go around and remove all the illegal shops around that area. It will be recalled that Kubwa Market was last Saturday gutted by fire that claimed no fewer than six lives. Josephine Beatrice, Liberty News.